Thank you. Good morning, yeah. Hmm? <laughs> it's a baby? Yeah. Boy or girl? Baby. A baby boy or a baby girl? <laughs> baby. Baby what? Girl or boy? Baby. <laughs> He's so honest. What is it? I don't know. Don't pressure him. He's the one that says just a baby in there. Hey, don't pressure him. <laughs> Good morning, yo. Yeah, I was in bed. Now I'm outside. I got to take the trash out. So beautiful today, and it's not hot. Where you always burning. But yeah, um, let's get the day started. Not sure what we're doing today, like I do every day. We just got to get up and do it. Well, I told you guys about flies in our house. Like, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's three on the window. Seven, seven, so, seven. look at them buggers right here. I'll show you. Watch. Them dead buggers. Look at that. One, two, three. So and this also is just to document that what I'm saying is not crazy. Like since we moved in here, it's been hectic. Um, shout out to the, you know, the bug exterminator. Hey, whatever you did, it's helping us out because we'll be chasing these fools around in the house. And that's not cool. <laughs> well, now I got to clean it up. Uh, oh, man. I don't know. I have something. I uh, I'll put it on camera. I'll tell you guys about it. <laughs> Those are some crusty ones too. It was like. <laughs> you guys never seen the machine we make our coffee in, huh? Check it out. I think I showed you guys. Oh, here it is. It's called Delonghi. I don't even know if that's right. But uh, yeah, so put some water in it what you're doing i'd love to talk with your family i'd love to talk to people in your community because i remember one time it's anecdotal but following up on a woman who had said awful things to me and then another one was a man one was a grandma which i know even awful people have you know offspring but i mean she had kids sitting on her lap when i went to when i finally searched down her page another one was a guidance counselor and i called that person out and said i'm surprised that you've been put in a place to lead young people when these are what you're calling your productive words so i would love to dive in because all i want to do is shine a light on them i don't want them to cover day after day as these awful people that will rage bully say awful things i've read it about every i've read it about myself i've read it about all of you like really demonic things they need to be accountable you want to say it that's fine but let your kids come to the table let your boss come to the table let your minister come to the table and we'll discuss yeah yeah right. mm -hmm. joy what about you i mean are, are you, do you have a problem yeah. with uh id having to be part of posting online well, you know, the argument against it is that you lose your privacy. Well, you know, you're looking at Exhibit A. I have no privacy. Everything that I write or say, I am actually responsible for. And so uh, why shouldn't some loser uh, who's living in his mother's basement also be responsible for what he says? And I think that, yes, I agree with everybody so far that I think that you, we would cut down on a lot of this kind of hate speech that we have to endure. It's really kind of annoying and sick. <laughs> It can be dangerous. I know. I know there must. It can be dangerous. It can be dangerous. But you know, I'm I'm weird. I just I played with all of the online spaces, and you know, it's, it's just not. For, occasionally, I can do it, but 98% of the time, it's not for me. And I don't read people's responses because I can make myself feel bad. I don't need some stranger doing it for me. That's just me. Though. <laughs> we'll be right back. So for some of you guys that m saw that clip, um, I believe it's a good discussion. If you don't understand it, it's pretty much they're talking about how some of the folks online that feel the necessary need to bully and, and pretty much harass people 
that are online just because they feel they're confident that from the safety of their home that they can do that. It's just, it just tells more about them than anything else. You know, now we're living in a world where internet is more popularly used by everybody. It's just, I think, I think everybody should be treated with kindness, love, and how you be treated. It's easier to be just sitting behind a computer with your with your fingers just tapping away, thinking that it's okay. It's safe to say. In real life, in real life, hear me out. That would not fly. Because some people would, won't tolerate that kind of attitude and that kind of behavior like myself. So that's why I try to always emphasize on Treat others like how you will be treated yourself. Be kind, be loving, and be responsible. It's okay to it's okay to express yourself, but don't don't be mean. Don't be a mean a hole, or just going off just because you feel like it. No, we're all human here. The only difference that separates. It, no for this, excuse me. The only thing that is different is separating us is this thing right here, the screen. That's it. In real life, this won't fly. So, so just to be warned, be kind. Even in real life or behind the screen life. Don't get it twisted. Stay humble. I'm in my boys' room. So since we made our coffee, that guy right there wants hot cocoa. Look at that. What? Hey, Dad. When? I bring, I go to sleep, I bring. And you go to sleep and you drink? No, bring. Bring? Uh huh. And then I what? I need all the pictures. I do the other pictures. Oh, okay. Is mommy cooking? Oh. I love you. Where's my hot? Mm -hmm. no. Just finished eating, cleaning up now. Do we gotta do? At dawn, when you have trouble getting out of bed, tell yourself, I have to go to work as a human being. What do I have to complain of if I'm going to do what I was born for? The things I was brought into the world to do? Or is this what I was created for? To huddle under the blankets and stay warm. But it's nice here. So you were born to feel nice? Instead of doing things and experiencing them. Don't you see the plants, the birds, the ants and spiders and bees going about their individual tasks, putting the world in order as best they can? And you're not willing to do your job as a human being. Why aren't you running to do what your nature demands? But we have to sleep sometimes. Agreed. But nature set a limit on that, as it did on eating and drinking. And you're over the limit. You've had more than enough of that, but not of working. There, you're still below your quota. Well, uh, <clears throat> yeah, drinking some milk, eating some leftover cookies. Hope you guys are okay. Today's a tough day. Um, a lot of stuff get, you know, keep crossing my mind. Sometime 
picking this phone up and recording. Makes you question <laughs> the potential of achieving your goals on YouTube or any other platforms. As a person that doesn't want to work for anybody else, my my dream and my aspiration, or even if I'm saying it right, might be too big. But like anything, I understand hard work. Without hard work, nothing be nothing can be achievable. Cause hard work works. That's what you know, Denzel Washington said in his speech. You can look it up, and uh, you'll find it. So, yeah, today is just a tough day. Some stuff came about. I kind of questioned my my goals, my aim, and my talent or skills as a creator. It's always in the back of my head, but I know there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. So for that, I just need to pick myself up, dust it off, and I just keep doing what I need to do. Even when the support is not there or the belief is not there. I think some people out there that already succeeded probably went through the same thing I'm going through. So I'm just putting in this into my document, which you are watching right now. Like I said, when I started on day zero, we're going to document everything and anything, put it on here for a 100 day challenge where I just upload everything and anything. Well, not everything, but why don't you use your imagination? So yeah, we're snacking right now and I gotta go get the trash and bring it in. It's already late. <laughs> Yeah, that's right, boys. We're watching the man himself, Stratman. With the virus. Then, after being questioned that his allocation violates the old rule that he invented, it, it he responded by saying, "My position is 25 You know when you when you think you've seen stuff and then look, it's there, and then you're like, "I look, there's nothing there," and here we are. But didn't actually buy it. Or you thought about buying it? Then I didn't actually buy it. Now we're eating cucumbers. That's not cucumbers. Well, I mean, <laughs> pickles. Hold on. No, no, no. can't open that thing. Hmm. It's not like back home, but this would do. Foco. Coconut juice. Try it with popcorn. No, mm. thanks. <laughs> Bad. Don't knock it until you try it. Howdy, baby. <laughs> My favorite pepper. We saw who took the popcorn. Mm -mm -mm. What do you say? Uh, you have no option. We gotta go night night. Yeah, you are. Yeah, it's about that time. What you say? Uh, you have no option. We gotta go night night. Yeah, you are. Yeah, it's about that time. Oh no! You have to 
No more. <laughs> it's not. You're so funny. Good job. The end. The end.